Hello, this is Intuitive Anna Priscilla, and this is your reading for the week of August 13th. Today I'm using my beautiful new Kipper cards from my Siren Song Kipper set, Kipper and Lenormand set. I did a review of this earlier in the week, so if you're interested, check that out. So, Kipper cards are interesting because they really show situations um, and people who might be involved in those situations. So in the beginning, um, I put the man and the woman because this reading will be applicable to you, whether you are a man or a woman. So I am going to use the directions on the woman's card because just because she landed on the top because directions are important in the spread. So let's put the woman back in there. So we're going to have her representing everybody. Um, so this, this spread shows what you're thinking, what you might be feeling, what's not going to work so well for you, and what's going to be auspicious for you this week. So let's look at your thought processes first. So it looks like this week you're going to be focusing on change. Something's going to prompt you to move forward and move on with something. Or you may feel that something is um, ready to go. So this is your thought process. It doesn't mean it's going to happen unless you make it happen. But change is in the wind and in your mind this week. So think about anything that you might need changing. It could even be a light bulb. It doesn't have to be anything you know, dramatic or life-changing. It could be simple, simply as rearranging your house or changing your wardrobe or changing your hairstyle or it could be something totally different like it's time to change your job. So focus on change and you can see the fish here are swimming along with the current. So this may also be something that just feels natural. You're not swimming upstream, you're swimming with the current this week. And then we'll look at your feelings, your emotions. So we, here we have marriage. So you're really going to focus on any partnerships. This could be partnerships at work. But you're going to put a lot of emotion into your relationships this week. And um, really start figuring out where your heart lies. So marriage can be a marriage of convenience. It can be a marriage of two people dealing with a business a contract. It can be a marriage of two partners in a relationship. It can be a marriage of two parts of your life. So think about the generic meaning of marriage. It can be your relationships, but it can also be other things that are joined or need to be joined in your life. And emotionally, you're going to really feel this. you want to connect in some way with something this week. Now, what is not going to be working so well for you this week, your inauspicious position is high honors. So you may be holding a position that um, you're very proud of or you've worked really hard to get to, but it just may be a difficult week holding that um, position or holding that responsibility. So high honors is something maybe you just don't want that this week. You just want to be more low-key. You don't want to be focusing on all the things that are going on here in this big house. You'd rather be down here in the valley, just kind of chilling out. So, so high honors can be a responsibility. It could be something that generally you're very proud of, but this week is just going to be kind of a pain in the butt. Could be a job, could be a position you hold somewhere. And then what will be working auspiciously for you this week is the long road. So this is saying take the long view. Uh, don't jump at things that are just right in front of your nose. Look, look further along. Take the long view. Anything you start this week is maybe taking long to manifest. So this is a card of patience and endurance. Just keep traveling on that road and eventually you'll get to where you need to be. But there's, you can't rush things this week. The long road is a card of patience, endurance, and just carrying on that road. Eventually you'll get down here, but it's going to take a little while and a few turns in the bend, a few turns in the road to get there. So just keep on keeping on, even though you might feel a little bit frustrated here at your job or your position that you're holding. In the long term, things will turn out. Change might be, that may be part of the reason you're wanting to change. Things are taking too long. 
and maybe a commitment that you're involved in is going to take some effort or some endurance. So it shows a little bit of frustration, but it, that things are moving. If you want them to move, they can, but you just have to take it slowly. So with this card, also this card up here that the road is pointing to will be important. So changes will be important, but it's going to take a time to get your changes done. We can also add a couple of cards up here with Kipper just to see what is it that needs changing. So, Sorrow, you're probably frustrated or you've had some bad news or you're just in a situation where you're in a funk. Could be related to this feeling here and you need things to change. So let's see where that change is going to take you. Oh, rec uh, uh, occupation. So this is probably definitely with this card related to your job. Or something you're putting your work or your heart into doing could be a contract at work could be some kind of relationship you're having at work you're having a frustration here it's making you crazy or you're feeling like you just need to change you need to get out of this uh, bad state of mind move on and focus on what you need to do so that's your reading, Kipper card reading for the week. And I think it's pretty clear. Kipper is pretty clear that way. Um, so let's pull one card just to sum up your week, see where you're going. Here you go, good outcome. So if you just endure, keep going, things will work out for you. Be patient. So thank you for listening. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. Uh, check out my Etsy shop. And I will be back with you soon. Have a good week.